Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of October 16, 2016. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It's a big, big week right out of the gate, and we actually are going to feel this all week. And some astrologers are calling this the October surprise, and surprise it is. We can expect all of us, individually and collectively, to hear some surprising things right about now and to feel a sense of urgency where it comes to change and especially where it comes to making positive decisions, positive change, where it is that we respect ourselves more, where we honor ourselves more and we are connected to our personal truth and insistent on creating situations where we're able to live it that much more. And that is really because right out of the gate there is a full moon taking place it is a very special full moon at that and many of the conversations that are going to peak at this full moon will be continued throughout the week so let me describe this full moon first it is in the sign of aries it is happening in the sky with uranus on one side you see mars and pluto and right across this full moon, we have the Sun and Mercury. This is a lot of power players getting together in one place just to connect with other power players in other places. And this is the type of conversation that we call a T-square, that some astrologers call a T-square. And it is one of motivation. And especially with this full moon, it is one of some tension giving way to some breakthrough personally and collectively as well, that ultimately will help us to make decisions from a place of connection and a place of illumination. So there's a lot of power here. Now the sign of Aries is one of self. It is one of self-reliance. It is one of honoring your truth, knowing who you are and living from that place, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, and knowing that that's more than enough for you to go out there and do what you need, especially when you trust that truth within you. You add to this the element of Mars. Mars is the ruling planet of Aries. Speaking with this uh, particular full moon, with Pluto in the sky, that's a lot of focus right there. That's a lot of energy. That is a lot of intention. And that is a clear understanding of what the truth is and what action it is that you are ready to take in support of your truth. And then we have standing across, of course, we have the sun and we have Mercury. Now, Mercury is, of course, messages. It's also the media. It's understanding things on an intellectual level. It's hearing things, perceiving things. And this particular full moon has change written all over it. So what we are seeing, what we are perceiving, the messages we're receiving, and also what's happening in the media, really paying attention to what news are we talking about as a collective. All of this is going to reach us in very personal ways and it's going to allow us to claim some personal truth. Now, if I may uh, digress a little bit, it is connected to this, but one thing that I'm seeing a lot lately, collectively, that we are discussing is a lot of women are sharing their own stories of how they have felt being a woman and uh, some of the injustices that they have had to experience. I'm seeing this become very much a part of the conversation. I'm seeing a lot of people share their stories in very brave ways and in ways that they haven't before. Some of those people really reading them, people I haven't known very well, have really moved me with their honesty. And this I see as the precursor to this particular full moon. The sign of Aries is a sign of bravery and this full moon is making us brave and is making us bold and it is encouraging us to own our power and to own our truth and to speak that truth even if it feels difficult, even if we fear being challenged and even if we fear some power struggle, power games, at the same time we are motivated to own our experiences. And that's really powerful, but also own our present and own our future. And that is just as powerful as well. Now Mars and Pluto together, this to me is very profound. This to me is about absolute focus, absolute determination, absolute self-knowledge and acting from that place, knowing what matters and honing in on it with almost a searing certainty. 
where you're able to block out the fluff, where you're able to block out whatever it is that doesn't matter, that is not part of your happiness, that is not part of your truth, and instead focus in on what it is that you know matters today and what it is that you know is gonna get you to where you wanna be tomorrow. It is a powerful time and Mercury this week is actually gonna continue those conversations, is going to reach its peak moments in these conversations, speaking with Pluto, speaking with Uranus, effectively carrying this energy forward further into the week. But all of us in some way are going to be encouraged to own our passion and to be who we are. And I do think that when you own who you really are, you stand in the truth of who you really are, well, that is some of the greatest liberation that you're ever going to know. Also this week, the sun will move into the sign of Scorpio. So happy birthday month, happy birthday to all the Scorpios out there. Whenever the sun goes into the sign of Scorpio, I think, okay, Halloween is just around the corner. And I used to really love Halloween back in the day. <laughs> it's actually been not that long that I haven't been all into Halloween. But I remember uh, in Toronto, there was a Halloween parade and I would always you know get decked out body paint and everything and i would recreate famous paintings and all of that uh it was always very special and i enjoyed that spirit of fun and yes the energy of scorpio is serious and the energy of scorpio is highlighted this week with mars and pluto meeting the modern ruling planet of mars and the ancient ruling planet of mars meeting in the sky being especially active this week even with that Still, we have this understanding that yes, there's serious work to do, maybe on a personal level. Scorpio is really the sign of digging really deep and allowing a rebirth to occur. Now this full moon, yes, promises a rebirth, but the sun moving into Scorpio also promises a certain rebirth as well. And so this is a chance for all of us to tap into an energy of personal honesty that lends itself to some profound change that we are more than ready for. And also Venus, we gotta mention the, the goddess of love, of course, right? Venus this week is going to move into the sign of Sag, bringing lots of loving energy where it comes to loving the other. <laughs> so what I mean by that is, this is love and celebration and warmth and kindness towards foreigners, whoever that may be for you, whether it's people who live out of town, who live on the opposite coast of your country, or people from a very different culture or language. Venus coming in here does bring a measure of soft energy and allows us to see each other that much more softly as well. And ultimately, it's one of the greatest forms of love that we are going to find whether it's for others, but especially within ourselves, is when we're able to see ourselves in those that maybe we thought were really very different. I do think that that is part of the larger lesson that is playing out right now. And Venus certainly will help us to create more and more heart appreciations and heart connections to many people out there all over the world. Thank you so much for watching the introduction. I'm truly so grateful for it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It does mean so much. I apologize for my voice. <laughs> and actually, I'm recording this Saturday night, hoping to get this up for you uh, Sunday morning, late Saturday night. Uh, and I'm trying to get this up for you in time for my talk that's coming up on Sunday, which is coming up at the very beginning of this week. If you're in Southern California, I would love to meet you. I'd love to see you out there. So that talk is happening as part of the ESAR conference. It's happening at the Hilton Orange County Costa Mesa in Southern California. Lots of friends and fans have been reaching out and I've been like sort of participating in this conference um, for a few days now. And I've been running into a whole lot of people who've been saying, I watch you, who've been telling me how much my work means to them. And it means so much to me. It means so much to me. And you know, I work a lot behind a camera, I work a lot on a computer, and it's not very often that I get to actually meet friends and fans in person, and this has shown me just how special it is and has created a rising determination to meet more and more of you in uh, the period ahead, in the upcoming future. And so I do hope to do that, but for now, 
I'm in Southern California. If you would like to meet me, or if you'd like to just learn about outer planet transits to the moon, my talk is called When Your Feelings Change. If you'd like to learn about that, I'm giving a 45 minute talk. You do have to buy a day pass as part of the ESAR conference, but I hope uh, that you will join me. Or, you know, if you're not attending the talk, anytime. If you're around, just come up to me, say hi. Uh, I'm always happy to share hugs and have a moment with friends and fans out there. You guys are absolutely awesome. Also, uh, all my consultation spots are full. Thank you so much. People have still been reaching out. I had a very limited number of spots and they're all full now and I appreciate it. But again, if you want to come out, hear me speak, I'll have copies of my book on hand. And so you can either buy them directly from me immediately following the talk and I can sign it for you or I'll be around a little bit later on on Sunday as well and I'm happy to sign my book uh, for you as well. So looking forward to meeting friends and fans out there and looking forward to resting my voice. <laughs> I might actually sound like this during the talk. Um, really this started like after being here a day and I think it's because of just getting to meet so many people, right? Being interested in other people and, and talking astrology really. I think sometimes as an astrologer, um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit out there for some people, right? And so when you're among your tribe, it really is among, like being among family and being able to speak astrology, the language of astrology. It is um, very much like a homecoming, really to be among your own. And I've absolutely loved it. So again, if you have a chance to come out, I would absolutely love that. And I hope to meet some of you in Southern California. I've got lots of events coming up. Uh, and I'll be sharing them as we go. Looking forward to meeting you somewhere on the planet. I'm sure that it will be fabulous. Next Saturday's webinars will be back as part of bringing Synchronicity University to real life. I am doing an October series of webinars every Saturday other than this Saturday. I didn't do a webinar this Saturday because I'm here in Southern California. But I did an August series. It went exceptionally well. A lot of you loved it out there. People are still registering for the October series or still purchasing the downloads for previous classes uh, that I held back in August. So whether it is that you want the instant download to past classes or whether it is that you'd like to join us in real time for classes coming up ahead next Saturday and the Saturday after, you would be very welcome and I'd love for you to come participate. It is very interactive and I do enjoy it so much. And next week, next Saturday, we'll be talking about solar return charts. So we'll be exploring solar return charts, giving you some techniques for birthday to birthday readings. When you look at the year ahead, starting at your birthday, uh, solar return charts are a big part of that. So we'll be learning about that and then as we get to the end of the month, the last Saturday of the month, we are going to learn about major life cycles. So we're going to go right from age one to like age 90. And we're going to go through a full lifespan and talk about uh, different things that happen at different ages and what type of learning, what type of lessons, what type of feelings are likely to come about. And I think that this can really help us as we navigate the world to have that much more compassion for the people that we meet, but it also helps us to understand people that much sooner. If you know somebody's age, you know what major life trends is. They've just finished what are coming up and it's a really good way to get a quick feel, but also maybe to give some advice, especially astrological advice, and especially if it's very much on the spot. So again, that is major life cycles and that's happening the last Saturday of the month and lots of previous webinars uh, that you can download as well. Go to synchronicityuniversity.com or my website, NadiaShaw.com. Looking forward to seeing all of you out there, all of the, the classmates, all of my peers learning with me. Looking forward to seeing you all in class next week. And I think we're gonna create, we're gonna continue to create an amazing environment together. I would like to give a shout out, if that's cool. I wanted to share with you guys and give a shout out uh, to Parami Cosmetics. So it's ParamiBeauty.com. All the makeup I'm wearing right now is from them, all of this. Uh, and so if you're into makeup at all, uh, this might be of interest to you. But really, I really just wanted to celebrate my friend with you. So I haven't had a chance to spend that much time in Southern California before 
finally got to connect with my friend who is a doctor and she and her brother was also a doctor uh, formulated this brand of cosmetics they have a beautiful store para mi store uh, in southern california as well and i got a chance to go there and i was like a kid in a candy store i mean i love makeup if you've been watching me for a while you know that this is something I enjoy just by looking at my face. You know, this is something that I enjoy. And actually right now, all this makeup you see me wearing, all of it is from uh, her makeup line. And so the makeup is called Para Me. The website is paramebeauty.com. And everything is like, it's very accessibly priced. And also, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I just love this makeup and I've loved getting to know the makeup as well. And I'm really happy for my friend as well as she's launching this new endeavor and has her first ever, ever retail store and also online store as well. Now, right now I am wearing, uh, again, if it is something of interest to you, right now the, the eyeshadow I'm wearing, I really, really like their iridescent colors. Um, and it's called LED, the lighter one. And then I have the darker one, which is called Snake Bite. And then under my eyebrows, I'm wearing one of their uh, glitter eyeshadows, their pale glitter eyeshadows. And so they have a huge selection. Like I said, everything is super affordable. I think everything is under $15. The eyeshadows are like $6 each. Uh, and so that I hope that you will at least check out the website if you're into that. Um, I hope that you will consider dropping by their Facebook, their Instagram, uh, giving them a little hi from me because I know how much love and expertise uh, she and her brother have poured into this company. And like I said, I've absolutely enjoyed playing with Parami products and Parami cosmetics. So that's paramibeauty.com. And yeah, make sure you tell them I said hi. I always enjoy connecting with friends and fans on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, my website, NadiaShaw.com, and the YouTube comments as well. Any astrology-related uh, questions, I absolutely welcome. I'm keeping a list of videos uh, to work on. There has been a lot of work, and it's mainly because of the personalized horoscopes. A lot of you out there have really been appreciating uh, them and wanting to purchase personalized horoscopes. I appreciate your trust so much. So if you have questions that are a little bit more personal, that have to do with your unique situation, please do consider a personalized horoscope where I can do just that. Look at your unique birth chart and answer your unique questions and you can learn more about that on my website, nadiashaw.com. But of course, you being here is everything. You being here allows me to live my mission and really over the course of these last few days, it's meant so much to me to see how much my mission is speaking to people's hearts, how much it is meaningful to so many people out there. And my mission is to affirm in the world that the universe is wise and loving. The universe is wise and loving. That's it. That is the whole purpose of absolutely everything I share. And if this video does that for you, affirms some truth, gives you some hope, infuses your life with some inspiration, then you've allowed me to live that mission. And for that, I am truly so grateful. Thank you. So I also wanted to say about uh, this wonderful event I'm attending. There are lots of amazing astrologers here right now, uh, really world-renowned, legendary, but also lots of familiar faces as well. And so please do check out my Instagram. It is on my Instagram that I am sharing my journey. And I also wanted to share that I recently had my very first Spanish language um, interviews where I talked about the upcoming election. And I talked about my understanding of astrology. And those interviews aired on Univision and Telemundo. And I'm sharing some snips of those, some little clips of those on Instagram. So you can check that out. Whether or not you speak Spanish, it's pretty cool to see and screenshots as well. Um, and also there's a written article on the Univision website as well. So all those links are being shared right now on Instagram. And hopefully in the near future will also be available on my website. But it's been a lot of fun to see myself growing as well, right along with you guys. I'm growing too in my own adventures and it really is such a privilege uh, to grow with you and to have these amazing interactions and your amazing love and support. It means so much to me, so thank you. Okay, so how all this wonderful stuff speaks to you and your sign is coming up right now. 
Hello, fabulous Aries. Well, this is a full moon in your sign. You are at the center of the party, right? It really is all about you. And having a full moon in your sign does speak to some profound change taking place within you and speaking to a change in direction, a change in understanding yourself and a change in your love relationship dynamics can take place with this kind of energy as well. Now, a lot of you are going to experience this very personally as if a shift in identity is taking place. There might be a little fear, but it might actually be really, really good, like something you've really wanted for a long time, some change that you've been working towards or hoping for. For others, it might not necessarily be something that you'd been hoping for, and yet here it is, and now you've got to focus and decide on the best direction and best use of your energy. It's almost like you're proving to yourself who you are and what you're going to prove to yourself is something that you like very much that gives you a lot more, a greater sense of self-respect. Now, where it comes to love, yes, with this full moon, there's likely to be some love activity, but particularly, I'm very excited by the fact that Venus is moving into a fire sign. This is energy makes it that much easier for you to access, and this is especially good for those of you open to meeting someone new, the online internet world. Now, all else being equal, I would say that would be a good bet, I would say wait until we get to the very end of this week with this uh, particular full moon. You really might have some surprises there, really might get something very different uh, than you thought. And also, I just would be a little bit cautious as well. This uh, particular full moon is so much about truth, like truth that just, you know, wakes you up like that. And so really, if you are connecting with people in the online world, the reality may end up being very, very different. So I would wait, again, if you're looking online, wait until the very end of the week to make those connections. Um, if you are in an established bond, this energy can be really interesting, right? Because like I said, it's truth. And if the truth is something beautiful, if the truth is that there's something that the two of you have wanted together, been working towards, then this can be the breakthrough you've been looking for. But ultimately, like I said, truth is kind of objective, right? It is what it is. And when it does come forward, you can decide how best to use it, how best to demonstrate what you know, the highest qualities that you know about yourself to be true. Hello, fabulous Taurus. What an exciting week it is all around. Now, we've got this full moon happening in the sign just before yours. Your dream life, right? What's happening behind the scenes, really eventful now. So for some of you, yes, this is going to play out in terms of some very vivid dreams, some very lucid dreams um, that might even jolt you awake a little bit. I would also be mindful and invite you to consider where it is that your dreams might be trying to show you something, whether it's the truth about what you feel or whether it is an understanding about what is taking place or the path that you are on. Your dreams will really be waking you up on many, many levels. Now also, like I said, behind the scenes, what's happening behind the scenes, there are going to be lots of surprises there. It's very possible that you are going to hear of uh, people working on certain things, right? Developments taking place that you weren't aware of before. And it's, it'll say, okay, how long have you been working on that? How long has that been going on? This could play out in the workplace, okay? This could play out on other levels as well, but it does look like there may be people working behind the scenes and uh, there might be some mixed feelings about that on your part. But ultimately, this is about sort of, you know, a, shaking the tree a little bit to see what falls out. And what I mean by that is what's not in the tree is not going to fall out. And ultimately, you've got to know what's in that tree. You've got to know the truth about other people and something about where you stand. And knowing that ultimately does empower you a whole lot. Now, remember, Mars and Pluto are in fellow Earth sign Capricorn. This is energy that's so easy for you to work with. And so empowerment really is key. And positive changes, focus, that leads you to some very positive changes, also is part of this particular full moon. Now, Venus, your ruling planet, is going to change signs, move into a part of the sign, part of the sky for you that has to do with uh, money, really. So get ready to get some blessings where it comes to things like grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments tax returns and any benefits 
you may qualify for, that money might just find you now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, this particular lunar, yeah, if there are some things that have really been, you know, not admitted, you know, not out there, this is where they can come up. It could be if somebody you're really interested in, it may be some surprise about them. I got to be honest with you guys, right? I got to be straightforward. If you're in a relationship that you know uh, something's going on under the surface and you haven't wanted to look at it, you haven't wanted to be totally honest about it, this is where you might have to be. And again, it's truth, right? Ultimately, it is going to be liberating, whether it's someone you're interested in or it is somebody that you are already aligned with. That truth, whatever it is that comes forward, will either propel you that much closer to them, but the opposite as well. Ultimately, you know your truth and you'll know it when you feel it. If you're open to meeting someone new, just keep in mind there might be a whole bunch of other layers going on underneath. <laughs> and so give it a little bit of time to flush out. Hello, fabulous Gemini. What an exciting week it is all around for you. Really, the big surprises, the big excitement is happening thanks to friends. Your friendships are going to be getting a lot of your attention, a whole lot of your focus as well. And it really is going to be your friends who in some way wake you up and lead you to consider what your power is and where you can empower yourself. And this is especially true financially. Now, I just want you to be mindful. I'm going to put this out there. This kind of sky does suggest some complicated experiences um, that could happen around sharing resources, particularly with a friend. So this could be a time when it is uh, some, whether it's you revealing something or they revealing something, it, there can be some financial effects. So if you are sort of involved with a friend in a financial dealing, that's where I would be a little bit careful with this, okay? You just want to be a little bit careful with that. This is not the best time to go investing in a friend's idea. Again, if this is a friend of yours, you just want to be a little bit mindful of that. But also with this particular energy, I look at this guy and I just want to say you may be inspired to reveal something to a friend, to reveal some secret. And I would say just, just check yourself a little bit before you do that because uh, the reaction could really be very much across the board and it may not be something that just stays between you and them. Of course, you know where your learning is, you're gonna do what it is that's right for you, but a sky like this does suggest that there may be a need or desire on your part to really share very deeply and maybe not making the best choice with whom you're sharing with. And so ultimately that is up to you to decide the best route, not the best route, and for you to decide where it is that you're ready to share maybe some very personal things. Again, it might come up just very spontaneously. That's where, you know, just if you can, take a little breath. But if not, look, it is what it is and it's all good. At the end of the day, it's all part of your learning. Now, with this particular sky where it comes to love, look, let me say this. Yes, we have this very active full moon happening. But we've also got Venus moving into your opposite sign. That's amazing. That is so good for love. That is really good for attracting someone, long-term potential someone. And that's really good if you're in a long-term bond. And so love-wise, it looks like this, this burst of protection and this burst of sweetness and softness is about to enter the picture, bringing that much more faith and that much more belief that partnership, genuine love, certainly is possible for you. Hello, Fabulous Cancer. Well, this week we've got a full moon happening. Now, this full moon is happening at the very top of your sky. And having a full moon here at the very top of your sky does speak volumes to what's taking place in terms of your direction, your career. Now, this could be a breakthrough. This could also be an abrupt change. Ultimately, it does empower you. Now, it's very possible that some partner or someone who represents you is a part of this. So you want to be mindful of that. And really, you know, like I've been saying, the energy right now, I mean, it's very October surprise kind of energy and it really can go either way. So it can be like supremely good. We have to think really fast on your feet, make the most of an opportunity. That can especially be the case if it has to do with an interview or audition situation or meeting a boss. But also, you do want to tread a little bit carefully. You do want to watch your words and you do want to be a little bit careful of any kind of power game that's playing out. And that's especially true if 
there is someone that you are trusting as your representative or someone that you've aligned with for your joint prosperity you also want to be a little bit mindful of that as well but ultimately this is uh, the promise or the potential for some kind of shot some kind of change that allows you to make a shot or to decide what's really worth pursuing so lots of breakthrough energy here yes but you've got to make the most of it as well you'll be propelled to action and just be a little bit careful when you uh where it comes to really trusting someone else now of course you want to trust right i'm always a little a little hesitant to share stuff like that but like of course you do want to trust but ultimately look there's the the good relationships if you're in a good relationship business or love then it'll become that much more evident you'll feel that much more closer to that person any kind of you know whatever issues or things that have been getting in the way or that have been in the way will leave very quickly where you realize your part or you realize what's really going on in the dynamic and you're able to resolve it in some cases years worth of stuff you're able to resolve but if the relationship is not good if there have been you know some some not directness or feelings of resentment building up this is where you're going to have to deal with it and decide who stays who goes what changes who you're going to trust who it is that you know can you can cut bonds with that might be for a small percentage of you out there a part of this energy if you're open to meeting someone new i do think that right now uh really you've got venus right now moving into a part of the sky that has to do with the workplace and so look like i said career related boss related be careful but where it comes to your co-workers things are about to feel a lot sweeter hello fabulous leo what an exciting week it is we've got a full moon happening in fellow fire sign aries which means this is energy you'll be able to work with that much easier uh, especially compared to others out there which is a beautiful thing also with this particular sky i think that there's a whole lot to be said for the whole world opening up to you just like that so this is definitely a time where if you get any spontaneous opportunities to travel to travel long distances uh to travel to other countries uh if you get a chance to consider your place in the world in any way philosophically or practically this is a sky that really can help you to have some kind of breakthrough now there might be some having to look at uh, some insecurities some uncertainties there might be with this particular energy uh some wonder some feeling about how this is going to affect you in terms of your work and your daily schedules your routines and yet for all of that this full moon is happening in a fire sign which means you are going to understand what needs to change you'll have the realization you need and you'll be able to run with the energy that much more easily at that now where it comes to matters of love i absolutely love the fact that venus is moving into fellow fire sign sag this is so great especially if you are somebody open to meeting someone new this is really great for getting your flirt on so even though early in the week yes we've got some you know pretty interesting energy a little bit of a roller coaster for some people out there especially if you were born towards the end of your sign and yet you're dealing with it like really really well if you were born right around the 15th you'll feel this energy more than most and yet all leos out there will find a way to benefit from what for other people has them spinning a little bit yet you will benefit you will find a way to understand your truth and maybe even an opportunity opening up for you as i said travel higher education legal matters political matters some opportunity may open up for you like you know gates and singing <laughs> like i literally am seeing now, i'm not one so much for you know sharing visions or what i'm seeing but really it's almost as if i feel like a doorway is opening and there's this bright light and it's just these beautiful songs coming through just inviting you in uh to understand to a whole new understanding of self and a whole new understanding of your path but yes venus is moving into a super romantic part of the sky get your flirt on and if you are somebody in an established bond the romance is about to awaken very nicely hello fabulous virgo this week's full moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money 
Now, this is what we like to call other people's money, grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, settlements, uh, any kind of benefits you may qualify for. All of that is covered under this energy and you can expect the possibility for some really big changes and conclusions to take place with this energy. And the great thing is, is that with this, at the very least, some truth will come forward that'll help you to decide what it is that you wanna do, but also will help you to bring it to a healthy closure as well. So if you've had a long-standing financial matter waiting to be resolved, this is really good energy for at the very least to get it resolved. Um, if you are somebody, you know, there might be some changes going on. If you're somebody who's been thinking about where it is that you could access funding for what it is that you desire to do, this could be a time when that inspiration or that direction just shows up for you. So you do want to trust. Now this could also be, I got to say, some type of like mortgage payment, interest payment coming through. Uh, because again, this has to do with dealing with financial institutions. So you may have to do that rather suddenly. And yet when there's so much energy in a financial part of the sky, it means that the money you need is there. Now where it comes to matters of love, we do have uh, Venus right now moving through the very bottom of your sky, will enter the very bottom of your sky. This can be really good for connecting with people from your past, okay, or running into them and being surprised, being having a pleasant experience, right? Whether or not there's a reconnection, just having a pleasant experience with that. Also, this is really good energy. If you are somebody who lives with someone, if you're in an established bond and you live with them and you want to live with them, this can create a really nice, comfortable home for the two of you together. Hello, fabulous Libra. What an exciting week it is for you. If anyone's going to have an exciting week, it's going to be you. And that really is thanks to this full moon in your opposite sign. A lot of that is going to play out in the context of love. In fact, love is going to be the area of life where it feels like there's a whole lot going on. Now, when there is a full moon in your opposite sign, normally there is someone there to help you understand something about you in partnership. Now, when I look at this particular sky, for those of you in an established bond, this is the kind of sky that can really bring a lot of changes in the context of your established bond. So it is possible with this sky that something like your partner wants to move, needs to move. In fact, home might be very intimately involved in the changes that take place for you now. It could also be, as I look at this, some dramatic change that your partner needs to make. And it's up to you to decide if you are still going to be some sort of a support for this person, if you are going to be that soft space that they land. It's also possible with this that your partner makes a decision that really makes no sense to you, is really way out there. And yet, again, it's up to you to decide if you are going to be that safe space that they can come to and know that they are at home with you. Now with this, if you're just getting to know somebody, it's very possible with this that you see this whole other side to this person that might just surprise you a lot, okay? Now this can either lead to things propelling forward very rapidly or not. And so with a sky like this, I've seen people, you know, just meet somebody and boom, they've moved in. Like it just happens very quickly. For others, I've seen people you know, just getting to know somebody, realizing they can't live with this person. In some way, home, where you're living, is very intimately connected to your understanding of love. Now, there's also another way to understand that Esther, this is, has to do with your past, particularly when you were a child. And so whatever your past was, whatever it was, your earliest experiences, your earliest understandings of what partnership is, what a healthy partnership is, then this is the kind of sky that does sort of point the way of what your beliefs really are around that of what kind of love feels right to you. And especially having some kind of experience that awakens this understanding for you, very likely part of the sky. So lots of experiences <laughs> certainly happening with this and a much more deeper understanding of what you need in partnership and what love really is going to be for you whatever barriers may be there are going to start to be realized so you can release them and let them go as part of moving closer to the kind of love 
that you know you deserve. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. It is an exciting time and it is an exciting week. For you in particular, I do think there's a whole lot going on uh, where it comes to considering what's taking place for you at work, in the workplace. That is where you're going to see some very dramatic changes happen right about now. And this is very possibly uh, someone leaving and possibly very suddenly someone leaving. Some truth being revealed about this person may start out as rumor, may start out as gossip, but lends itself to uh, some big shifts in the workplace. For those of you who do have that workplace, um, among coworkers in particular, perhaps immediate supervisors. Uh, yeah, this is some pretty dramatic energy where a lot of truth can come out. That really is key with this particular full moon. It is all about truth. So if you've been doing the right thing, you know you've been behaving well, you've been behaving ethically, really, this particular sky can be very supportive. It can help lend itself to some wonderful breakthroughs, particularly in your work and also in your health as well. But where it is that things have not been completely on the up and up, this is where a lot of that is going to come forward. And especially where it comes to your health, if you know that you haven't been taking care of yourself, this can really lend itself to a dramatic change of habit overnight, just very quickly. And so, you know, it's not often that it's recommended cold turkey if you know you're doing something not so good for you. But with a sky like this, that just might be the inspiration. So again, workplace, health-wise, lots of activity going on. Now, in the early part of the week, we are going to have Venus in your sign still for the last couple days before Venus moves on, leaves your sign, and enters uh, a different part of the sky for you. So what I would say is the early part of the week, as much as there's strong emotions, all kinds of things happening in your day-to-day -day life, that's where the love luck is really with you in the early part of the week. So you want to tap into that. You want to use that to your full advantage. And particularly, as I look at this, there's um, a suggestion here that really there's not a lot you need to do. Take advantage of it by knowing that you can have love and attracting it into your life. Just being you can go a really long way to having the kind of love you want. And if you're in an established bond, certainly there's a sense of a heightened romance happening for you in the early part of the week. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. We've got a full moon this week, and this full moon is speaking to all kinds of power players in the sky. It's a very active full moon. And we haven't seen a full moon this active in a while. For you, it is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with romance, flirtation, and also your children. If you are somebody who has children, then this can be a need to pay attention to them, to be present for them. And actually to be part of their growth and learning and feel how your children are part of your growth and your learning as well. In fact, this can be a time that really shows you something about who you want to be for them. And it can end up being very powerful and creating positive change in your life in particular, as you consider who you want to be for those kids. This is also super fertile energy, okay? If that's something you want, of course you can use this guy to your advantage. Um, but this is super, super fertile. And for some of you out there, there might be some surprises around that as well. Um, where maybe there, you weren't expecting it, but here it is, proof of your fertility. And it's up to you to decide, of course, what you want to do with it. Um, but I hope ultimately that whatever it is that transpires for you, you find a way to learn from it, of course, enjoy it, of course. And of course, you can use this energy in other ways as well. Uh, you don't have to manifest it in terms of kids if that's not what you're into right now and particularly where it comes to your creativity where it comes to your art if you're an artist of any kind this can be a time where you go through some artistic changes that have a measure of almost like breakthrough energy to them of course this is romance right i said this is rotation energy you will be getting your flirt on in a big way and so a surprise flirtation really could change your whole concept of yourself and what really matters and also, if you're in an established bond, this is also a sense of an awareness at the very least of the kind of romance that you want and what you can do to bring more romance back into the bond. 
Hello, fabulous Capricorn. It is an exciting week all around for you. There's a whole lot going on at home. And so particularly where it comes to where you live, so your home space, but also this can have to do where it applies with your parents, your family of origin. It's gonna be these places, these situations that are going to ask for a lot of your attention, possibly very quickly, possibly by surprise. It could also be that your parents or family of origin, member of your family, that's a very surprising news for you and you may not be sure what you feel about it. Maybe they're making a choice, decision, move, and you feel a little bit uncertain about your feelings, if they're making the right choice or not. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide what you can support and what doesn't feel right to you. But I actually think that once you get a little bit beyond the, the surprise of it, it may actually be something that you welcome. So that is certainly possible for a whole lot of you out there. Now this part of the sky also has to do with your past and understanding where you've been and seeing your past very differently and forgiving the past very deeply. And this becomes especially relevant in the context of love. If you have felt that you've been sort of carrying a past experience, this can be the time where you really allow yourself to release on a very deep level, on an energetic level, what you no longer need to carry so that you can welcome in the type of love that you truly do desire. Now, when I look at this particular energy, I'm also really excited by the possibilities of you, where you move, if you like it, great. It could improve very, very dramatically. You get some powerful insights in order to make changes to your living space. But also with this, it could be a desire to move that comes about, and it could be a need to move that comes about as well ultimately it seems that there's a very personal element to this you've got mars and pluto in your sign intimately involved with this full moon so there's a very personal element to the changes that you're making now and it's not just about what's happening at home there's also a sense of where it is that you really want to be where it is that you really desire to go in the higher picture of your life and that very well may be part of what motivates the change and also it might be your career, your goals, the next thing you want to do. That's part of the changes that start to take place now. Where it comes to matters of love, we have Venus moving into the sign just before yours. This is really good for keeping things very below the surface, very behind the scenes. And so this isn't necessarily the kind of energy that'll have you shouting from the rooftops that you're with the most amazing person in the world. It is really good energy for considering, you know, what you're developing, what kind of bond you may have, or what, whom you're interested in, and observing, you know, what's going on with that person that you like, and not necessarily in a way as to how you can approach them, but really seeing if this is somebody who aligns with what it is that you are about and what it is that you desire and love. This can also be good energy if you've already started to get to know somebody and you want to spend that time behind the scenes getting to know them better before you consider shouting it out to the world. This is good energy for that as well. If you're in an established bond, there's going to be a desire for lots of private time, lots of private time. And ultimately, it is sort of those unspoken moments that end up bonding you that much closer to that person. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. This week's full moon, right out of the gate, we've got a full moon. And this full moon is happening with your ruling planet in the sky, which means what develops now will be deeply personal to you and deeply meaningful to you as well. This can lend itself to some real breakthroughs, really releasing of fears in a moment, in a second. There can be a real sense of letting go what on some deep level might have felt like was holding you back, really. As I look at this, I think about how the real potential is here with this sky for you to release some fear, for you to understand how your own fears, your own subconscious um, needs that were getting in the way of what, it said, what you said you really wanted, how they start to come to light so that you can transform the situation and you can more consciously move in a direction that's going to work that much better for you. Now, this particular part of the sky also has to do with um, communication with siblings and with media as well. 
So I said in the monthly horoscope, I do remember, be mindful of any kind of, if you are one of those people who has any kind of media connections or trying to make any kind of interview, right? Either you're making the interview or uh, someone's interviewing you, you just wanna be a little bit careful with this energy. It really can go in unexpected directions. And for some Aquarians out there, they might actually find that very delightful, very exciting. Now, for other Aquarians out there, I look at this having to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. And one of these people might just downright surprise you. <laughs> and it's gonna be up to you to decide if you're gonna support their decisions. Uh, but one of these people may really have news that really catches you a little bit off guard. And then it's up to you to decide if this works for you or how you're gonna support it, what feels right for you to support. I would also say this with this energy. Do not gossip, do not not gossip. With this particular energy, what is gossip ends up being broadcast. That's the type of energy we have here. And so what is said sort of between two people is not likely to be between two people. It's likely to reach the masses. So it's always good advice not to gossip, but particularly right about now, you really uh, are going to find it useful not to do that. Now, uh, where it comes to matters of love, we have Venus moving into, fellow f into a fire sign. And this is harmonious for you. This is sort of like your home in the sky. And it has to do with friendships. It has to do with groups. So these are the types of situations you want to put yourself in. Put yourself with friends. Put yourself with groups. You're going to find that is in these situations, your most loving side is more easily able to come forward and more easily able to attract more loving experiences to you and also prospects to you as well. If you're in an established bond, this type of energy can have you wanting to be with your best friend and feeling like you are with your best friend. And ultimately that is what any air sign really wants. And you may feel right about now that you have what is just right for you. Hello, fabulous Pisces. It is an exciting week all around. We've got a very active full moon to kick off the week. And for you, it's happening in a part of the sky that has to do with money in terms of what's coming in and what you're spending money on and this particular full moon is going to have all kinds of surprises to it and we'll have things changing very rapidly very quickly now for some of you out there this can lend itself to an increase of income for others of you this might be an increase in spending all of that becomes possible with a sky like this but ultimately it does look like whatever opportunities come about they seem to have a very sudden quality to them, a very quick quality to them. And so it's almost like very quickly you have to decide, are you gonna do this, are you not? Is it worth the money, is it not? Now this is also the kind of sky, I'm gonna be very straightforward with you. This is the kind of sky where if you've been in a job that you really hate, <laughs> that you don't like, and I think it's, maybe it's part of the modern world, part of the human experience. Sometimes you're gonna go through times uh, where you're making money in a way that's showing you what you don't wanna do, what isn't, your calling, if you will. Well, if that is the case, this is gonna be a time where it becomes very, very obvious, if not impossible, to continue along a path that isn't working for you in terms of your prosperity. This can end up being really liberating. Now remember, over the course of this decade, you've had the slow move of Uranus moving through the same part of the sky. And you may want to watch your Decade Ahead video again, as I recorded this on my YouTube channel. It's in that Decade Ahead video that I talk about how over the course of this decade, it is a slow evolution of how you earn money. In the Decade Ahead video, I talked about how you're in this slow journey over the course of this decade that we are in the middle of right now that is going to align your finances with some truth, some higher calling, some more authentic expression of yourself well this particular full moon will take you leaps and bounds forward in that direction even if it's hard even if it's challenging even if it feels a little difficult and particularly if it's challenging in the context of your friends and your friendships now a sky like this you definitely don't want to mix friends with money do not mix friends with money with a sky like this because it really can uh, go in very interesting directions uh, that you didn't anticipate that may not please you so much so just be aware of that and especially with Mars involved right now it could end up being very quick where you expect it to go one way and it ends up going a different way very very quickly there might even be some power struggle power games around that so it's best to separate the two from friends or groups that you may belong to 
and your earning and your spending. So you want to keep those two separate. But for all that, ultimately, this is going to be part of aligning you with not only a higher vision for your life, but really more prosperity. That's ultimately what this is about. Understanding prosperity on many levels, spiritual, emotional, and of course, practical as well. Now, when it comes to matters of love, we are going to have Venus move to the very top of your sky, which means that if you're open to meeting someone new, it is going to be people who maybe have achieved something that you desire, or maybe even someone who's a boss that ends up being particularly interesting to you uh, or ends up being particularly interested in you. And also with this particular energy, if you're in an established bond, there's so much big picture energy with this. Like, let's achieve something together. Let's go somewhere together that's big, that's grand. Let's create a legacy together. That's the type of energy that's going to be nurtured right about now. And that's the type of energy that is going to feel particularly blessed now as well. Well, thank you so much to all signs out there. I really do appreciate you. Uh, being patient, seeing me through with my voice. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, so grateful for you. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.